You know, we've all seen it at the airport, at the train station. You see the bomb sniffing dog, checking the suitcases and the bags on the ground. But what if the explosives are strapped to a suicide bomber or hidden in a backpack? Bomb detection dogs aren't capable of tracking a moving target. Until now, we got a first-hand look at Vapor Wake Dogs, the latest technology. No batteries required. The foundational research for Vapor Wake technology began at Auburn University's Canine Performance Sciences program in 2002. The problem of how to address hand-carried or body-worn explosives was evident. Traditional bomb dogs are trained to search static objects as productive areas for explosive finds. But a moving productive area would require a new canine technology, and now it was up to Auburn University to develop the solution. We chose a dog that was very high drive, very independent, very strong, and developed a dog that could find and identify the person carrying explosives. We saw how valuable it was. I think our clients saw how valuable it was. So we dedicated ourselves toward developing the vapor wake dog. Prior to 9-11, traditional bomb detection canines were rare, even at high profile events. Today, canine security is more prevalent, but there is still a significant capability gap. The inability to detect moving explosive odor hidden on a person. That was the basis for Vaporwake, was the idea that a dog can do more than we had been asking it to do before. So we started developing a technology that addressed that. We started taking the very best dogs that we knew could do this, or we felt like they could do that, and started training them in those scenarios to where they, they could follow the odor to a source. Auburn University's Canine Performance Sciences team had a major breakthrough after reviewing Gary Settle's research on the human thermal plume. Humans naturally produce more heat than you might imagine. A person's thermal plume would naturally rise upwards when standing still. But as a person begins to move forward, their thermal plume extends behind them, much like the wake behind a boat in the water. If I were carrying something on my back that was explosive, the odor of that explosive would become mixed with that thermal plume and would follow the same pattern that the thermal plume would. That's what the dog picks up on. Our breeding program had its start in the early 2000s with some Labradors that came from the Australian Customs Service. We wanted dogs to be vigorous, we wanted dogs to be hard workers and to be able to do it over a longer period of time than they had been trained to do in Australia. So we brought in genetics from American field trial Labrador retrievers that had more of that type of a work ethic, if you will. We crossed those two, and that was the foundation for us moving our small breeding program forward. An animal's ability is only a slight predictor of what that dog's offspring will be. So you need a fair number of matings and litters and puppies to be able to make that kind of selection. After careful environmental and social raising, vapor weight canines are trained by certified instructors in accordance with the AM Canines patented training process. Next, the fully trained vapor wake dogs are paired with pre-selected handlers at our 320-acre training academy. Upon successful course completion, teams are certified and licensed for one year. Vapor weight canine teams have already been deployed at many high-profile government agencies, as well as several high pedestrian venues, including the St. Louis Cardinals. Dallas Cowboys, the Macy's Day Parade, and of course, Auburn University football games. A standard detection dog requires a visual cue of a piece of luggage or a vehicle to begin searching. Where your vapor wake dog doesn't require a visual target, as soon as they go into an area, they're already searching and looking for the odor. It's a non-intrusive search where the dog actually doesn't have to search the person. It searches the vapor wake that they leave behind as they pass through an area. 
They don't require a cue or a word from the handler to begin their search. We not only uh, teach them to detect the odor on people and moving objects, but we use an intricate cable system so the dog learns not to use their eyes and depend on a visual target and to always be obedient to the odor. Vaporweight canine detection teams integrate directly into established security programs. Working seamlessly in large crowds, Vaporweight teams can provide an added level of security against explosive material being carried in during the rush of people entering an event. If a dog alerts, the target will be turned over to local law enforcement in accordance with the venue's established security procedures. Over the time period of when the gates actually start opening, you will have thousands of people that will funnel through different locations of the stadium. Having these Vaporwake dogs out there allows us to cover a lot more ground than we've ever had in the past. The dogs cut that time in half. They work very hard, they're very quick, and uh, the academy that put these dogs out are doing a very good job to, uh, to make the time more efficient for us. Once the gates are majorly open and we have the bulk of the crowd that goes into the stadium, we will bring the Vaporwake dogs inside the stadium on the inner concourse and, and run them that way. So that way we have a, a double protection of working the dogs to their best ability and to be more proficient in what we're doing. Even if I didn't have Zadie with me, just the fact of having the officer's presence makes everyone feel secure. But to know her actual purpose, that she's here to ensure that there's nothing in here that can harm them, uh, we get kudos on a daily basis. So it's, it's very important for us to have canines, vapor dogs, conventional, or MARTA. People will come up to ask what she does, and it gives us that uh, more human effect because we're able to not just be the police and a patron. It's more so just a conversation that we're having between each other and the dog is included. Her job is vital because it's another tool to allow us to connect with the community. Overall, what she does is not only give a sense of safety, she also shows them that it's okay to be in the station because we're here. It's clear that a Vaporweight canine detection team can work side by side with your existing explosive detection teams. We offer government agencies, law enforcement agencies, or already established security programs the ability to put their own staff through our Vaporweight canine detection course and supply them a fully trained Vaporweight canine. We also offer Vaporweight on a per event basis to augment existing security and mitigate against body-worn explosive devices. There currently is a domestic terrorism threat and it is for body-worn explosive devices. If you do not have Vaporweight canines, then you currently have a security gap within your organization.